Hey guys, Ellie with Tippy. Continuing our jailbreak tutorial right now, we're going to look at SB settings. Um, I talked a little bit about this in the winter board uh, video, but we're going to talk about it a little bit uh, more right now. Um, by default, I believe SB settings, I've always kept it default. Um, if you swipe the top of your home screen, uh, I always swipe it to the right, but I think it'll work if you do it to the left. Um, on your status bar, SB settings will drop down. As you can see, I have a theme installed here. I've got a couple little icons here. I can turn uh, Bluetooth on, change my brightness, so I can uh, do that and mess with my brightness from right here. Um, those are all my quick toggles. Um, I can also mess with processes and do all that fun stuff. I can look and see what I have open, which theoretically I guess should match your multitasking tray, but I've noticed it doesn't always do that. Um, so we can go into more here and um, set toggles right here. It'll let you rearrange your toggles, turn them on, off. So if I want my, uh, my, uh, my notes on my SB settings or my GPS to where I can turn it on and off, etc. Um, I can have that on there. Um, I can go back. Um, activation methods. This is the same as going into your general iPhone settings and going to activator. Um, I can choose what gesture I want to use to open uh, SB settings. I have it just to where I swipe on my status bar. Um, I kept it default. Um, themes, we already talked about that, but this is where any themes you download from Cydia for SB settings, it will show up in here. There's tons. Um, most themes that you'll download, especially paid ones, will most likely, um, it's pretty much guaranteed you're probably going to have an SB settings theme. Typically, they're free add-ins. Um, SB settings options, uh, you can change some of the options on your main phone. Uh, you can add a date to your status bar. You can add actually an add-in that'll show you how much free memory you have. Um, and that's one thing I don't know if we looked at, but we'll look at it in a second. Um, you've got a lot of customization things here you can mess with. Um, you can also go into uh, dock applications. And that might take a minute. There you go. Um, and you can turn those on or off. Um, you can also hide icons, which is nice. So me, I hate like the default weather app and the default stock app. Um, anything that's on will show up on your springboard. You can turn stuff off if you choose to. So typically I have a habit of turning off like compass and contacts. To me, contacts is redundant on the iPod touch fine, but on the phone, you have it in your phone app. So for me, I turn it off. It's just taking up space on my springboard. So you can go through and hide icons. You can add substrate add-ons. Um, you have system options here. So you can turn, this is nice for 3G users or users that don't have the numeric battery option. Um, you can turn numeric Wi-Fi on or GSM, which will actually show you your signal switch. And you can turn off the Apple Kill switch. So that's nice. Um, we'll close out of this and we'll look at the main menu one more time here. Um, if you go into processes, or actually you don't even have to do that, never mind. Right down there at the bottom, you can see that I have 285 megabytes of available memory on my phone. So I can go to processes, and I'm not going to do it because it's probably going to make my phone crash. But um, since I have so much stuff running, I'm surprised I have 284 megabytes running with voice memos and display recorder and a bunch of other stuff running. Um, I can click free up memory, and it'll free up some available memory. So if there's stuff caught in memory, etc., that's nice. Um, and I like to be able to see how much memory I have. So if my phone's lagging, I could probably figure out why. But um, as always, you guys have questions, comments, issues with SB settings. Um, you can also go into Cydia and download other add-ons. So there's one for like uh, the keyboard so you can turn off, uh, what's it called? You can turn off autocorrect with a swipe. Um, there's ones for airplane mode. You can download a quick uh, tap for that. So basically all these things that show up on SB settings jumped into the wrong thing there. Um, these are hotkeys right here. So I can turn off my Wi-Fi with one push instead of having to go to settings, etc. Um, if I jump into Cydia here, I'll just show you really quick instead of telling you. 
Um, you can go to search, if it'll let me click that. And like I said, <clears throat> City has never been known for its speed, but um, I can search SB settings and you'll see tons of stuff is gonna pop up here. So you can turn on and off tethering toggles. Um, you have tons of themes in here, airplane mode toggles. There's a billion settings that you can use with, uh, with SB settings. And it's really up to you which ones you want, which ones you don't want. You can disable some, you can enable some. So, I mean, there's tons of them. Uh, auto correction, auto lock, um, themes, Bluetooth. Uh, calculator, um, anything you'd want quick access to, there's probably a plugin for. Um, questions, comments, leave them in the forums or below uh, forum.tipb.com. Thanks, guys.